What's going on, folks? This is Marcel Umphrey from FlopTheFlipNation.com and DMVREIUnited.com. I've been getting your emails. I've been even getting some phone calls to the office about, hey, Marcel, why haven't you shot a Daily Doodle? Why haven't you shot any more content pack videos? I got to be honest with you all. Myself and my business partner, Michael Jones, we've been busy with a handful of our students helping them get to the settlement table. You've probably probably been watching some of the videos of our students closing deals left and right month after month uh, each and every month we're putting out a new success story so that's what we've been doing we've actually gotten back in the trenches with our students to ensure their success now I'm gonna tell you this I'm gonna make it a priority a priority to shoot one video once a week whether it's a daily doodle or whether I'm just out in the trenches with one of my students to share with you now today's video what I'm going to share with you is two secrets, two of my secrets. Number one is the importance of anchors, having anchors with your real estate deals, with your wholesale deals. And number two, what it takes to become successful and some of the sacrifices that you have to make to become successful in this business. Now, when I first started out in 2002, I didn't do my first deal right away. It actually took me 24 months to close my first real estate transaction. And then it took me another 12 months. I don't even have enough fingers. It took me enough, another 12 months to close my first wholesale transaction. Now I'm going to share with you my success secrets on how I closed my first wholesale transaction. But first, I want to talk about anchors. Now I'm in West Baltimore right now, not far from my office here in Maryland. Okay, I'm in West Baltimore and I'm standing as you can see in front of a new development now this new development sits smack dead in the middle I'm, I'm sorry smack dab dead in the middle of a neighborhood where we wholesale properties now I call these new developments anchors okay not just the new developments but if there's a school nearby can we get a shot of the school Okay, it's a shot of a school nearby. Let's get out the sunlight so the people can see me. So look, there's a school nearby. I'm standing in a new development, and I'll get a shot of the neighborhood across. Now that's an older development. Now that's an older development. Now watch this. Not only is there a school nearby, I'm standing in a new development. There's an older development. That's where we wholesale our properties right now. And there's a, a hospital not far from here. So this community is anchored by development, a school, several schools in the area, and a hospital. So folks, I want you to take this from this video. Start looking for, your, for deals in neighborhoods that are anchored by new development, by transportation, by shopping, by schools. These are neighborhoods where people want to live. Now I want to let you know that we're in a buy and hold market. We're in a buy and hold market. So who are your buyers? If you're wholesaling properties, who are your buyers? Cash buyers. Cash buyers like to park their money and ride the wave of appreciation. Now watch this. The older development. Get a shot of the older development. Thanks. Now bring it back over. Watch this. Now the older development, that's where you're going to find your REO properties, your short sales. Remember, people overpay for those properties three, four, five, six years ago. Okay, now you can literally control these properties pennies on the dollars. My students are doing it. The proof is in the pudding. If you've seen the videos, if you have it, you need to go to our websites and watch the success stories. When you control these properties pennies on the dollars in neighborhoods where there's new development, where there's schools. What happens when new development comes into the community? They improve the schools that are in the community. What happens when new development comes into the community? Eventually, homes start to sell. What happens? The real estate market gets better. The properties surrounding this new development are going to appreciate in, va in value in time. So look, this is a home, that's a whole nother training. I gotta get to the success. I gotta get to how you're gonna become successful this year in 2012. How this is gonna be your year for success. Remember I talked about anchors. Okay, when I started in 2002, I had to start anchoring myself around other successful people. I had to start anchoring myself around other people. You know, when, you, when I'm, I haven't been in a boat in a long time, but when you're in a boat, you got to put an anchor to park the boat, okay, to stop the boat, okay? What you have to do is park yourself, is anchor yourself around some successful people, whether it's me, 
whether it's the the guru or the expert in your in your marketplace, whether it's that the what even if you're not in real estate and you're watching in this business, if there's somebody in, in your life or that you know of in your area that you want to uh, become like, you want to attain the same uh, uh, the same exact type of success as them, you want to drive the same type of car that they're driving, you got to anchor yourself around that person. Look, this is Marcel Humphrey. I'm going to bring you another video. You can catch me. I'm having an event here in Baltimore real soon. You can go to www.dmvreiunited.com and don't forget folks, make sure if you're wholesaling, if you're buying real estate, that you're buying in properties that are anchored by several different things as far as development, schools, transportation, hospitals, and 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 don't and don't forget, don't forget the success secret. Anchor yourself around other successful people. That's it for today. I'll see you at the settlement table. Take care.